Manchester City faced Crystal Palace on Saturday. Uh, Man City really should have won their match to Everton, but only drew, uh, especially as they are in the title race. Crystal Palace lost to Aston Villa, giving them their first home match of the season. So really, this should be a home win, as Man City must get those three points. Do you agree? Yeah, this is a real must-win game for Man City. Mm. This is about the sort of time of year that they do normally kick on and find the the strength to start overcoming teams like Palace. And um, they are still favourites to win the league this season, but they need to start actually demonstrating that form. Um, I think what's going to really work in Man City's advantage for this game is the, the the sort of the really poor patch of form that Crystal Palace have hit. You, everyone sort of fancied them to beat Chelsea and then they lost 3-0 to Chelsea, which really knocked their confidence. And then they lost their last game to Aston Villa. And Aston Villa hadn't won in 20. Aston Villa were bottom of the league and just couldn't buy a win from anywhere. And, and they somehow beat Crystal Palace. So these Crystal Palace players are going to be coming into this game really, really lacking in confidence. And I can see City doing a number on them here and winning this. Yeah. So then would you say for the for the... For the bigger bank role, one point for William Hill uh, to play the Man City win. Do you think there's any value in that? Not really, to be honest. As I say, Man City should win this, but they're a very erratic team this season. They, uh, often, like you like you mentioned earlier, they were expected to beat Everton. They didn't, um, and yeah there's there's been a few sort of strange results where you'd really expect them to to dominate and they've struggled um key man vincent company at the back is still injured and they're always a defensive liability without him so i think for for that sort of price you'd have to lay down quite a fairly high chunk of money to make it worthwhile so i'd probably i'd probably avoid i'd probably avoid that and look mm -hmm. to um look to some some greater odds in for some more sort of long shot bets on this one maybe looking at more correct scores and first goal scorers than outrights yeah yeah well i've got on my notes here man city minus one you can get that around 1.61 888 sport is that another one we should pass i would um i mean man city are fantastic going forward they've got yaya torre they've got aguero silva de bruyne sterling they they, they have the capability to score many goals but I mean, based on their performance when they didn't score against Everton and um, just just based on, for me, not knowing which Man City is going to turn up, that's yeah. one I'd pass on, All yeah. Right. Well, the, the bet I actually I really like, I'm going to make it official, is Man City and the under 3.5 goals, 2.3 goals sports. Obviously, Man City kept a clean sheet playing Everton. I'm not sure if Crystal Palace can score, uh, but they have only conceded eight on the road. And this, to me, is pointing to, say, a low scorer, Man City, maybe a 3-0 win, something like that. Uh, that's my bet. What are you going for? That sounds like a great bet, actually. I didn't I didn't look at that one. Um <laughs> but no, that, that that sounds like a really good bet to me. I, I'm I'm going for Man City to win. Um uh -huh. as I say, I'm not sure I'm not sure about the um the minus one, but because you can get you can get better odds on it. I'll, I, I'd do a half stake on Man City to win 1-0 mm -hmm. and a half stake on Man City to win 2-0 because I just, um, I, I, I do think Crystal Palace will struggle to score. I think they're, they are lacking in confidence at the moment. Um, as I say, I wouldn't lump on, on an outright for Man City, but I'd put a half stake on, on those correct scores. Mm -hmm. And I also really like the look of uh, Yaya Torre to score first. He's um, plus 800 with Coral, which is a really good price for for a player that really does seem to take the game by the scruff of the neck and come up with crucial goals. And he scored three in his last five. So I'd look for that. So I'd, I'd like a half stake on that as well. All right. So you've got some, some pretty, pretty good bets there with some great odds. And I'm, so you're on, the, on the correct goal score, uh, the correct score there, you're sort of hedging your bets, uh, hoping one of them will come in. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I can I can see Man City just about managing to keep a clean sheet and maybe putting one or two past Crystal Palace and then taking their foot off the gas a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, wonderful. Best. Martin, thank you for joining us. Thank you.